Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the Warhammer Rogue Trader franchise playthrough where we are uh, exploring the rest of the galaxy. Today, Nola, uh, Septum and maybe a little bit Cranach and then we have a couple of hidden systems over here. But before we get too much ahead of ourselves, uh, let's uh, draw the attention to the system first. Very happy so far with how things are going. Not so happy that we can't get another extraction. That's really some unfortunate situation. All right, our first event, the St. Hill's Pride Hives uh, are oozing noxious haste veined with um, sulfurous streaks. The Promethean fumes from the gi uh, gigantic distilling cauldrons located beyond uh, the temperature shield. Vast, endless, dead and littered with spots of Promethean station and refinery separated uh, the Colossi and Rock Crete and Adamantine with its uh, crown of gargantian spires. Um, this is part of House Quarter. It's hard to tell whether it, what's more impressive, the grotesque grandeur of this place or the extreme toxicity. Okay, well, someone else owns this planet. And we got more adamantine. Well, we Gucci. The one thing uh, that I don't like is that we don't have an excavator. Let's just double check if we can buy one. All right. Well, we got a couple of merchants and uh, I went through all of them. Good news is we got ourselves a nice little uh, cannon upgrade. That's cool. But bad news is none of them do have excavators. So I think at this point in the game, I just got to accept the fact that uh, we need to randomly find these things and unless we're finding them there's not going to be much of an excavation happening in the meantime let's warp travel to the Kranach system because this year is where Kiava Gummer is located and Kiava Gummer is our last big uh, quest um, hub at least according to the reclaiming what is yours quest and that has been a relatively solid indication so far uh, I'm a bit confused that we don't have anything going on this left hand side but maybe we'll find a way of progressing it clearly the whole rate uh, thing has been going on uh, for a while uh, so that will culminate uh, into something. Anyways, Lord Captain, according to the telemetry, we are in the system of Kiva Gamma, the main industrial world, uh, world of uh, the Valencia's dynasty. However, our astropath report attempts um, to contact Governor Grapak has been unsuccessful. But wait, Lord Captain, a new report, Kiva Gamma sending request to exchange data. Reply with our own request. As you command, uh, the Manufacturing is uh, ignoring all of our requests. Uh, suddenly a deafening screech erupts from the Vox system. L -l 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 Lord Captain, the Intervirians inter 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 detect that the compartment of the Vox s -s -s system looks like the bridge is cut off from the v Void ship. All right. The Void ship Brits, uh, bridge sounds of working cogitators an officer's footsteps, everyday scene interrupted by an ear splitting sound. One of the bridge officers turns to the throne. Lord Captain, Vox stations are model functioning and overloading the systems. None of our transmissions are going out. The Lord Captain um, decipher this, uh, the uh, the messages. Proceed. A team of uh, decryption experts gets to work. Um, data teethers are inserted into the sockets and they connect to the cogiators one of the vox cleric leans over the console another one is writing something on a parchment but then she bursts into a manical laughter and stabs herself in the eye with a steel quill another scream a tech priest who was uh, mid prayer tears himself into pieces with his own uh, mechanities one more lunatics are mutilating themselves and lunging at each other well that's bad clearly 
portion of the pig recording damaged after contact with an unknown object. An enforcer shoves a rabbit servitor away from the Lord Captain. Um, rushes to help him. The image uh, of the pig is fuzz fuzzy. <coughs> no, nothing glimpses uh, of people shooting, wrecking, and the Lord Captain's orders. Within minutes, the crazed crew members are either dead or bound uh, and unconscious. The officer is cluttered around the Lord Captain, are barely breathing but unharmed. Scrap code. The voice belongs uh, to the deck NGCer who has turned the Lord Captain from his side. We've been attacked with scrap code, tech heresy designed to corrupt machines. Um, the transmission received from the planet was infected with this taint. Omnisire preservers, the void born officer, appears before the Lord Captain once more. Uh, what it is attacking us, we have a backup procedure in the circumvent, uh, the Vox barrier. In the astrium leading to the bridge, there is a terminal for an isolated system. A loud pop, the pipes <coughs> over the officer's head burst, and a blast of hot air flings uh, the void borne away from the Lord Captain, his body slamming straight through the co uh, cogiator's panel. All right. We run and we're succeeding. Without saying a word, the rogue trader makes an exit through the smoke, steam and rubble. Lord Captain's uh, back in the frame. The Vox is picking up screams of pain. The Lord Captain gets to the door uh, that obediently opens as it was never locked. A few people run after the rogue trader, one of them dragging the Vox Master's body. The atrium is in a state of panic. Silhouettes skitter in the dark halls. It takes for a while for the Lord Captain to find the cogiator mentioned by the fallen officer. The panel uh, of an isolated ter terminal is riddled with cracks and bloodstains. Alright, let's restore the um, panel. The rogue trader rips the power key off the tech priest's uh, mechandrite and opens the terminal. Sparks fly into his face, but he confidently manipulates the tangled wires and clangled levels. After replacing the cover and ensuring that the system is restored, Lord Captain brings up the required data on the screen. The maintenance bay is sending out hundreds of desperate distress calls when the machines went out uh, of control and started people uh, starting to drive people insane. Out of everything that has happened on the ship, the situation in the maintenance bay is the direst. The Lord Captain knows where help is most needed. He decides to head himself to the bay. Rogue trader arrives, not moments too soon. The crew, frightened out of their wits, have already cornered the priests of the Omnissiah and are about to execute them. The Lord Captain stands between the mobs and the tech priests, his sheer presence already giving the crowd a pause. Harshly cutting off any objections from the crew, the rogue, rogue trader offers uh, the officer he gathered on the way here to escort the mutineers and set up guard posts, where the tech priests begin to offer desperate prayers to the crippled machine spirit. The walk on the bridge is uneventful. Crisis has passed, although wounds and crippled. The ship nevertheless returning to normal operations. The bridge, re bridge resembles a battlefield. Floor is strewn with corpses. Cogiators are damaged. Healers in masks are badging up pale corpses. Technomats are hastily patching the ruptures pipes and the surviving officers are trying to get the remaining Cogiators back up and running. By the comm station, the rogue trader runs the Vox Master, praise the Emperor, you're in one piece, Lord Captain, the situation on board is set test victory. I was just in the middle of setting up comm channels. Another man appears in the pig, um, a junior officer completely out of breath. Ah, here you are, Lord Captain, if you find yourself able to return to the station, I immediately give you a rundown of the affairs on the ship. Well, Lord Captain, the situation has been brought under control, more or less. Uh, it will take some time to eliminate consequences of the attack completely, but the vessel is capable of motion. We are able to conduct warp jump uh, if you feel we should leave the system. All right. Wow. The bridge suffered heavy losses. Many of the officers resp uh, responsible for key systems perished during the attack. Consequences of the vessels are most grievous. Kiava Gamma <coughs> went silent after transmitting the harmful signal. I will refrain from sending inquiries to the industrial world altogether. Time has come to remind you about our agreement. I must be present in your entourage during Kiava Gamma. Yep. 
that is fine we're going to do exactly that Okay, well, we got another little event here. The Dwarf Planet Mark from the Valencian Protectorate as Altle and serves as a backup source for water in the neighboring system. Due to the abundance of bacteria proliferating the Atla Hydrosphere, the extraction of ice was stopped half a century ago, but much of the officers surprised the augators detect an unidentified mining rig deep underground. Um, send a scouting party. The extraction turns out to be... <coughs> Incendia Corridor's latest investment, <coughs> whose Nemzi is located uh, just a few jumps from the Kranach system. Um, the officers see the gesture as an attempt to test the boundaries of the newly minted rogue trader's leniency. Alright, we're confiscating it. And we got ourselves a big fat mobile extraction. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, time for a big fat <coughs> battle around Kiava Gamma. Looking for a good old spaceship battle. So, that attack was nasty. I had a hunch that the hailing or the code might be malicious, which is why I didn't answer to it, but I should have outright blocked it. All stations, report when manned and ready. Oh, what? One, two, three, four, five enemy ships. Okay, three over here. And two over there. Okay, well. <sighs> that is irritating, but we gotta do what we gotta do. These guys turn around, and if we're moving to here, can we hit these guys? No. Let the Empyrean guide us. But we can move in closer. Send them into the cold void. Let the incandescent beams scorch our enemies. Torpedoes. Now. All right. Pushing ourselves over here. Unfortunately, <clears throat> still not in range, but we got as close as humanly possible. And we're strengthening this side of the shield. Right, there we go. Um Let's turn around. You guys are dying. Uh, you need to take a couple of major hits. One of you needs to go into a different direction. <laughs> and... Hmm... I think we're strengthening the shield on this side. Very good. Always target the weakest point. Wow, look at that. We are really mobile. I like what I'm seeing. Void. 
Um, look, if we're moving to here, uh, that'll be a good enough intro. <clears throat> That's a hit. And a destruction, which leads to more follow-up damage. We're flying so close that the torpedoes cannot uh, hit us. Unfortunately, we're flying a little bit too close. The Can only hit the torpedoes, not, not the vessel. We're shifting. And... Let's protect the back shields. Or the shields at our back, rather. Good, we're turning nicely around, <clears throat> getting back into a range, but not quite. Um, ah, not quite there, unfortunate. Shields to the front, and we're good. On our path. Good. These guys need to die. And since our vessel apparently can die a hundred times over, uh, mm, that's really more just a distraction. Uh, this here looks like a good upgrade for us. Nice little ore. And we haven't even taken a lot of damage. That was an excellent fight. Oh no, ours is 90% and that thing is 80%. Yeah. Nah, I want hit chance, not critical hit chance. Just dealing. Uh, solid damage oftentimes is better. Good, we're taking Heinrichs with us, of course, uh, but we're taking everybody else as well. Let's go, boys. Time to explore the planet. Alright, here we go. Very good. Heinrich says no solemn simoran, uh, senimer, uh, ceremony, uh, no personal meeting with the Magi. I, I fear we're too late and we won't be dealing with uh, clandestine heretics after all. Binaric arias of alarm stream out of Pascal's voice synthesizer. In the uh, uh, neurotic's broken rhythm you sense a call to arms or warning of danger. Alright, let's go. Good, as per the usual, we need to properly set up our formation, which never saves. Uh, that's one of the gimmicks of this game. You can set it up as often as you want, but it just never will save. Lots of corrupt servitors. That very much looks like a trap here. All right, view the logs. Now uh, you discover a local data crypt with countless co uh, collected by the previous operators on the machine spirit itself. Using your access, you study the archive stored in this cogiator. The vast data repositories contain millions of strings. Um, 
of uh, raw material for processing, shipping and processed material. The manufacturer once operated like a gargantuan well-oiled machine. The last resort for uh, the last record was two months ago. Okay, well. <coughs> Not a big surprise. Smoke, Massive cough will constantly and drives the colossal gear system, uh, which I is presume. lost in the haze. <laughs> you are a dangerous person, Lady Orcelia. For all navigators are, but your abilities place you in a special category. Oh, finally, someone who seems to be sensible. Uh, the lumps uh, producing under the tech priest's uh, be dragged red rope hit at the mechanism was implemented into his body. You see a haggard and slicky face under the mm, arcane respirator I I identification. Request denied. Registering anomalous behavior within the servant's organ uh, organics and invalid noon sphere response. This unit is compromised. You carefully study the rope clad figure. A black, a black border of necrosis spreads out from around the tech priest's implants. For some reasons, his body is rejecting the true flesh. A moment later, you recognize a dominant smell of bouquet, of scent of permeating air around the tech priest, the stench of a rotten meat. Who are you? Magos Custos of the machi Machine Sanctum, tier 2-0, identification. Where is the fabricator sensor? I will only speak with them in person. Denied irregular demands execution of protocol 3942 in accordance, blah, 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 blah. Anticipated process disrupted execution of disposal protocol recommended. Tech Briggs draws his weapon and his ropes open your senses are a bit uh, are hit by a fetid wave of rot. Your struggles are in vain. Well, well, well. No, no one would have thought about that, right? Okay, so got a couple of servitors there. Uh, Heinrichs, my good man, this corrupted Magus is <clears throat> just up your alley way. Pascal. Argenta, Saiken. I think we're good. Let's go. Isn't this Heinrichs the uh, gets the first turn. For the throne's glory. That and a little bit of that, captain. and everybody here yes. gets word of the emperor, and I need a foothold. we're moving up. Okay. Cassia moves over there. Fantastic. A um, bit of buffing for Genta. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Need to place that uh, uh, zone. Very much exactly, and we did it. Insist, Lord Captain. Good. What are we going to do? Well, <clears throat> for starters, you guys here look like you want to really, really be I debuffed. Am a navigator, not a which we successfully did. They're already standing there as a team uh, might as well just not make that easier for them we could uh, give Argenta another turn Sycan gets a buff a huge one as well as another buff if you insist Lord Captain and then Argenta goes as the Emperor commands, we I want act. heroic actions. That's uh, the target here.
All right, let's go. Fantastic, lots of damage, but uh, not yet done. Um, we're doubling the bonuses here for free in the back line. And we got the overwhelming stratagem, which is great. Replace that. Okay, uh, Tech Priest over here deals less damage. Mm, fantastic. We're almost uh, where we need to be, almost. But Magus is being... Uh, we're debuffing him so that he's e more easy to be hit. Um, we got extra AP here, extra agility. I skilled warp speed, which I'm actually quite proud of. It's a good ability. Heinrichs is buffing himself. And in terms of extra AP, one extra AP... Uh, I think Cassia can use that very well because she's oftentimes requiring more AP. Um, we're taunting that priest. And then, of course, we're trying to hit him, but the main idea is just to keep him busy. Alright, nice little shot. Good hit, by the way. Fantastic. Uh, let's do this. Well, do Into it. a bit of that. And... A couple more hits. Oh, wow. We just obliterated the guy. Lovely. Well... Let's just continue here. As the Emperor commands, I act. That is not the Emperor's will. <laughs> Good word. And just mowing him down. Slowly but surely. I'll do it. I refuse. Unfortunately, he's getting. Uh, he's becoming more and more resistant. What exactly is stacking here? Deflection for any point of um, of damage that it suffers. All right. My emperor. As the emperor commands, I act. Well, crits are still dealing damage, so we're good. This is unacceptable. <laughs> I'll do it. Certainly not as much damage. As we elsewise would do. Good, everybody here gets AoE buffs. A tactically sound approach. We're charging in. That guy, unfortunately. It will be done. Uh, is fully locked in, but we're dealing good amounts of damage. So now Saiken, finally. Guides me. This is up to 500 points of damage. 550 to be precise. Okay, Omnisire's uh, Axe and a Krug Grenade. We can use both, but I think the Omnisire's Axe is potentially weaker than uh, what... 
uh, than what we have gotten beforehand. Where is the axe, by the way? Oh, we got three of them. Yeah, never mind. Add to cargo. Powers unseen. Uncover my path. Good. We're going upstairs. Embrace and this does not look good at all. Good, we open up our way. Color sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. This task should have been accomplished easily. The world will bow. Blood mixed with machine oil is barely visible on the dark floor. So this is one of those situations where we just need to the world run through. My feet. Has the pain. I'm restless. Not very good. Uh, we got ourselves a broken leg. Duty I tread Not the worst. Good. Lex Mechanic. A small, heavily augmented uh, man in filthy, tattered robes stands before you as you approach. He hesitantly looks up, his eyes filled with horror. Portable inscriber with a keyboard hangs from straps in front of him. You have nothing to fear from us. Deus me uh, Mechanicus, he heard my prayers. I thought I was alone in a kingdom of madness. Please save me. Tell us what happened. I'm malfunctory. Uh, I'm... Uh, manufacturing Lex Mechanicus Zeta 86, performing uh, the rituals of the Machine Spirit uh, Foundry 95. Uh, we started going mad. Priests devoted the Omnisire suddenly started praising the dawn of something other. And uh, yep, that seems uh, very much like what happened in the other areas. Some of them resisted, others grabbed them, tied them up, and then, and then they turned their implants to heresy. My former tech comrades, deliberately connected to these poor souls, got corrupted. I watched as uh, they were infected with scrap code. How did you avoid uh, that same fate? I didn't avoid it. They performed the same procedures on me. They f I felt uh, the touch of the unholy code. I allowed it to control me. I abandoned my sacred post and followed one of the traitors, serving his will, gathered data from his blasphemous experiments, I was driven by an unholy impulse coming from the depth of my auxiliary cogiators, where the code has lodged itself. Before I had a way to the throw of my compulsion, I witnessed horrifying heresy. I even accompanied foreign magus to the fabricator censor himself and attended an unholy mass that he um, led personally, a wicked ritual fully of <coughs> witful deviations and blatant inaccuracies. You don't know it like the other priests who were infected by the um, uh, by the corruption. Praise the gifts of the Omnisire. I managed to disconnect my external cogiator, which I used for primary data processing. The machine is corrupted. The scrap code locked inside of it. Uh, it's like a beast in a cage. But anyone who tries to look inside will fall victim to the program. My primitive brain has uh, been marked by corruption, but I still see their silhouettes. Hear the interferences. Okay, someone is imprisoned in the lower levels. Yep, the lay of ser uh, servants in the main unit. They live in isolated segments under the sacred machine halls. Um, they change the system for disposing of slag waste and are covered in the machines in cursed symbols. After they started the cogiators, uh, they dragged the survivors out of the segments under the machine hall. Well, um, were what the survivors had turned into. All right. 
I'm Lex Mechanicus, gathering data is my purpose of existence. Alright. What do you make out of it? Servants of the Omnisaya. I must know more about the final dawn. Fabricator sensor his mass. About the machine as well. I could give you coordinates, but even though I was present for my blasphemic uh, com uh, committed uh, by those heretics, all of the details that were captured in the process by my true flesh or in the augment that was corrupted. Uh, I'm convinced that if I hadn't thought of uh, the foreign compulsion and time, I would have been doomed. I swear um, no devout tech priest should come into contact with what was hidden in the one sacred device. Heinrich's expression shifts as he uh, stares uh, intentionally to the disconnected implants and still intake connectors uh, protruding from the Lex Mechanicus collar. The corner of his mouth twitches involuntarily. Abel, uh, Abelard notices the look on Henrik's face and once he does, he sighs heavily and looks away. All right, can we disconnect it? Even if the very idea of exposing a holy machine to scrap for, uh, code wasn't profane in itself, my augments are not universally compatible. They were created to interact with the system of true flesh. In other words, there's only one way to extract the data in the cogiator. What are you thinking about? If we connect the cogiator to an augmented system, the Lex Mechanicus will serve as a conduit for transmitting the data. We will learn the details, even if they're incomplete, of the uh, things that he saw not now unable to recall. And the Lex Mechanicus is like, no, anything but that, I'll die. No, I'll be worse than that. I'll succumb to the corruption, I'm begging you. I'd rather burn as a heretic than have the scrape coat uh, in my bi biological cogiator. These works, Henry po uh, Henrik's pauses for a fraction of a second, almost reconsidering. I cannot allow the information to go to waste. Pinning the babbling Lex Mechanicus, Henry, uh, Heinrichs uses his free hand uh, to feel for the connectors of the external cogiator and then for the socket of the back of his captive neck. Uh, the Lex Mechanicus struggles a few times, but Heinrichs twists uh, the reel of the cogiator's uh, hanging wires. The Lex Mechanicus lets out a chilling howl and the arc is off his back sharply. The hands twitch and leap uh, to the inscriber, but uh, begin typing furiously, pounding the keys with huge force. The scroll creeps out uh, of the inscribed's printer, continues to grow indulgently in waves of parchment. The crunches of breaking bones can scarcely be heard over the hammering of the keys. After several minutes, the Lex Mechanicus' fingers are well and truly crushed and blood splattered over the inscriber, but that doesn't stop him from trying in vain to press the keys with the scraps of bones and skin that remain. Heinrichs tears off the parchment and skims his eyes over it, sometimes frowning and looking away uh, through the eyes as if his eyes were painting him. It'll take time to study this in full, but at first glance, the data from the Lex Mechanicus cogiator suggests something of the nature of the cult's major preparation. Refitting the manufacturium, accumulating resources, mentioning of focus points, there are preparations for a large-scale chaos ritual. It appears the logic, uh, the local cogiator, whatever they might be, in actuality is one of the key points on the list. We can learn more if we find constructs that were created in the fabricator's code's orders. Um, it is located here, and we better hurry. Ten ballistic skill and critical damage. Well, that's pretty damn good. Uh, pretty damn good uh, bracers. There we go. Fantastic. Disciplined for such a performance. 
the world will bow. Alright, so we have figured that out. Let's get a little bit deeper into into the sanctuary. Over there. Pascal, why can't you look like that? Alright. Uh, Fabricator Sensus Cubis Delphi in the massive Magos clad in ritual garb lets out a binaric thrill and turns to you. From beneath his deep hood and his mantle, two dimly lit eye implants gaze at you. Who in the void are you? You dare to address me with a vile tongue of savages, me, steward of Kivar Vargama, lord of the machine world, Neil Pathetic Spawn. Who are you? My name is Calvis Delphi. I once held the title of Fabricator Sensor, but I rejected it along with other fetters that hinder progress. Once my faith was uh, flawed. And I let na naive fools from the cult mechanicals into the darkness of ignorance. Now I am this world's master and serve the true God. You tread upon their territory and you do not number amongst the legions of servants. Therefore you must be subject to immediate disposal. As a senior functioning member of the priesthood of Mars, I, Magos uh, Pascal, Declare this temple uh, to the machine god compromised and forthwith forbid all service within it. I dethrone the fabricator, ignorant heretic who betrayed the Omnissiah. Pascal switches to Biogeneric and you hear dissonance bludgeoning in the depths of the Forge Cathedral. Hanuman, liar, you're not him. Dimens, Hanuman obeys me and his mind is open to the voices of the void. The statement is false. Your regalia have been revoked. You have been deemed defective and will be eliminated. Initiating heretic search. Demenes Hunoyman. Uh, I wish to execute the retribution. Alright. What did you do to the governor? Is he alive? The removal of unserviceable artifacts was the first step. Okay, that's a no. I've seen what you have done to this world and the poor people I will not allow it to continue. You may be driven by your will to fight, but know this, Kiava Gamma has already been converted. The lines have been restructured and the servants already tasted the fruits of progress. The entire might of this world will soon rise up so many open administrators of heresy in so few sentences. Sister, how many death sentences would he, uh, you say his words warrant? In the name of the Golden Throne, I will stop. Uh, I will stop you and those who are following you. You assume too much, thus rendering your conclusions invalid. Comrades, purge the manufactorium, any of uh, the random variables. I must prepare for the culmination of our good work. Okay, interesting. Well, we're definitely getting ourselves in trouble this time. And this is a nice little choke point. You are in the presence of House Orcelio. What advice do you I guide humanity between the stars. How can one find the right way without his light? Good. Me. There's going to be a start. Removing 
lots and lots of them. I mean, look, we could theoretically get up here, right? And take the high ground. But these guys seem all but too melee focused. Cassia over there. Abelard, Heinrichs, and we good. Emperor, give me strength. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Good. Heinrichs moves up. Uh, defense, self buff, and whilst we're at it, another self buff. I have read tomes of military tactics. One step closer. More buffs and Pascal backline. Running by Derek Override. Explore to the one route. Forward. Good. Um, you guys need to re-roll if you're dodging and we're scanning all of you. And that's just a nice little meat sandwich that we uh, did is all of them immediately died. Good. All of you guys, point of curiosity, we also get more cover over here. To being ordered around. Which I appreciate. If I may. Damage. Isn't this more damage. And our agenda gets a first turn. That is for the weak. Oh, we got more enemies back here. Fantastic. Well, four starters. Let's go. Can't shift that up there, but we're in a good uh, place. I like what I'm seeing. We're just continuing to buff here. Extra agility and extra speed. Heinrich buffs himself uh, because that'll help him. And Abelard with extra dodge. Let's see to it. Low chance of hitting these guys um, uh, there. This guy has a much higher chance and I think we're just Faith gonna go with it. Very good. As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's a hit. And we are trying to Dance shoot again. Unfortunately, both of them missed, but we still are up to six stacks of versatility, which is good. Yeah. Finally, they come out of their little hiding spot. Oh. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Good. That I and that. Triumph. And 
you get a little bit more of that. Inspiration would also be an option. Ravage and conquer. Time to kill both of them. Shall rain. Wow. That was 250 hit points of damage. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Luckily, Abelard has specced into, uh, into the ability to continue fighting even after he has been severely damaged. Good, we're continuing to stay here. Good, this here is the strong one. Unfortunate. Good, fantastic, lidless stare. Isn't this a job for the serfs? More damage up there. We're healing. Um, um, you know what? Abelard, you could actually use a couple of stats, so let's buff you. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. That single target damage is super good, specifically if you're standing in a zone where all of your abilities cost less. Sykin gets a buff. And let's give Argent an extra turn. Cool. Problem solved. Heinrichs uh, gives you a buff. Abelard and himself already have the buff. Might as well continue with Cassia. Everyone, step aside. But then he moves to here. For the throne's glory. And forces this guy to attack him. Okay, we can hit all of them. I will not. Let's go. Really good shots. I like what I'm seeing. This is unacceptable. As the Emperor. For the weak. Good, we're almost back to heroic after taking Abelard as a casualty. If I move to here, still not in range. Good, we're moving to here. Seeds of discord. 
I will triumph. We're inspiring Argenta and at the same time we're dealing some decent damage. They're unfortunately a little bit too far away for Saiken. Alright, Abelard. Gets the Magus directly on him. At your back and call. Victory is imminent. Pascal shifts the zone forward uh, so that everybody would need to move. Kills this guy in full cover. Good stuff. Good. More defense here. Alright, four starters, Argenta I'll show you why moves up feared. to here. Can we move into a position where she can hit more than just one? Mm, I think we can. As the Emperor. I'll do it. Okay, that's a perfect spot for her. Faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Here we go. Oh, that was a fantastic attack. Good. Unfortunately, this guy has a really Faith nice cover there. But we're still hitting him. Ah, uh, so I can cannot attack from here too far away, unfortunately. Well, that guy is all the way up there. Too bad. Well, he can still buff Cassia, I think. I need no guidance. That's not bad. Cassia cannot hit her power up there. None of them, unfortunately. So all we do is a little bit of ring around the rosy buffing. Might be able to zone of fear us away into there. Nope. Answer is clearly not. Only 
The Emperor is on our side. All right, and we're going to. Uh, that's a really low chance of hitting, actually. Um. Let's see to it. Taunts and yeah, let's just try to hit him. Fabulous. Well. I can already tell you that was a hard fight, but we managed to do it so so well. Embrace true power. At one point, I was like, "Oh no, is Abelard uh, gonna go down?" But no, he's not. Evidence using to chop body into pieces was once an ordinary cooling fan. Okay, mm, yep, well. Does something trouble you, Lord Captain? I tread a path unexplored. Stop. There. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Just double checking. Uh, do we still have enough med kits? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we can we might as well give her some more holy hand grenades to be fair they're working very well so far I've never used a hand grenade on Cassia powers unseen Uncover my path. My warp sight reveals something. Interesting. When the faithful are idle, so grows. had we Let's charged up here, we would have directly moved into a trap. Never doubt me. Cool. Uh, this seems to be still larger than what I have expected originally, so I suggest we're cutting the episode here. Nice little cliffhanger for the next time as we're going through uh, the rest of the dungeon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one, and bless the Omnisire by clicking that like button. Take care. Bye-bye.